all my uh, ex work experience, both in international negotiations and as head of a government department, all sort of convinced me that if you've got a difficult problem, the way of moving forward on it is to get everybody who's got a direct interest, direct responsibility and, uh, and expertise together to work collaboratively on the issue. That's how you make progress. The government departments started to work together. It's when we actually started talking, rather than them taking shots at us and saying you're killing lots of birds, and we're saying we're not killing lots of birds, um, and, it was, and in being in denial of our problem, it was when we actually got together and started to talk about it in a constructive way. The community of New Zealand have basically said we don't like seabirds being caught, and that's plain, it's in the news, and, and, and that awareness has got to people now, and, and we've used that, and we've also used education and, and, I guess, understanding to show how the fishermen can help solve the problem so they don't just feel they're being blamed for something. And, and, and what's changed now is far more awareness about seabirds. One of the key things we've seen and, and worked on is changing the culture that's operating at sea, and, and that's been a business change. It's taken some driving. Conceptually, it's no different to changing the culture in any workplace or any, any environment where there are a lot of people doing stuff they're proud of and you just need to get them interested in something else. So whether, whether it's Formula One racing or running an airline or running a factory making sneakers, uh, if something becomes important that you need them to think about, you've got to find a way to get them interested and uh, get them talking honestly about what's going on. We've had skippers who come into our office to deliver scientific information on fish and who will say, I've just done a trip on the Chatham Rise and only caught two birds. And five years ago or three years ago, they never even, if you'd asked them if they'd caught any birds, they wouldn't know. Um, now it's a point of pride that they've had a trip where they, their mitigation's worked and they feel that they've done a really good job. Um, so that there's a huge change in awareness and, 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 a, and a culture that it's not a bad thing to talk about seabirds. Fishermen, when they catch them, are now reporting them far more honestly, whereas once they never reported because they either didn't care or were frightened to, um, they're now reporting the captures of birds because they don't see that as a risk. They don't feel like they're going to be blamed for it, and they might. the feedback they get might help prevent it happening again. We started to say, well, you know, these birds have got wings and they don't just live here, and so if we've got problems with them, well, everybody else has got the same problems, and so we need to be looking at this in a, in a global sense. Boats are boats, fishing's fishing, water's still water, oceans are still oceans, and, and the wind that makes the waves is still the same here as it is there. Um, and the same when you get to the wharf and you've got to unload and you've got to do your fishing business, it's the same the world over. It doesn't change wherever you are, and you're still covered in fish juice and fish guts and you still smell like a fisherman. Um, there's no communication problem at that level. Um, well, I think we're all the same throughout the world as fishermen. We're doing the same business, and, and that's where this, with the seabird thing is. There's things to learn for everybody, and we can all be very good at it, but it's getting the information out there. Education is really, really important, not only for Māori people, but for, for everybody in this country. And it's really important if we're going to succeed in achieving the sort of outcomes that we are or desire in terms of protecting seabirds, is to instill the values into our kids as they're going through the schools. So we're doing a lot of work in that area with uh, Southern Seabird Solutions. Personally, I'm proud of where we're at today from where I started, because I can say I don't catch birds, but in saying that, I do catch the old bird, you know, and I'm not proud of it. So, but I, it's how it is. It's part of my game and I, I don't like it. And I wish it would go away, but we're working on that.